morning good evening depending where you are guys uh welcome to my channel if you're here for the very first time thank you for joining me today my name is queen bolt and all my loyal subscribers i love you thank you guys if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and um don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so that next time i post a new video you'll be notified getting straight to the video guys today is the 4th of december uh still doing our preparations for christmas yep uh today we're going to talk about the christmas budget guys oh my god how do we budget like how how to make sure that you're not financially crippled after this first season it has happened before it always happens so what do we do what are we doing wrong guys that's exactly what we're here to talk about today with me anyway guys the very i've got my pointers here in a little book i wrote them down so yes this has been planned carefully planned this has been strategically uh, created just to hopefully it can help someone else so stay tuned guys the very first one guys before you even um start anything guys is to to make a christmas budget particularly a christmas budget guys you don't need to have an accounting background for you to be able to do a budget just set aside what you're doing is first have a look in your bank account to see how much money you have and how much money uh can you afford to play around with and then set aside a certain number i cannot tell you it depends with how much you make and how much you have so after making your budget what you do is um you allocate funds that you're supposed to spend for christmas so after you've allocated let's say you've said um this is just a random guess according to how much money you're making so let's say you've set up uh, aside a uh, thousand uh one thousand us dollars whatever whatever currency in the country that you are so let's say you set aside one thousand what you do now is you have to make um set up categories of the things that you need to cover this christmas like kids decorations dinner if you're traveling uh petrol to move around in miscellaneous emergency just in case someone falls sick or i don't know whatever images that you can have so after you've done those categories then under probably gifts you have to write like um a list of names of the people that she's supposed to buy gifts uh and then you allocate funds according to each name like what i'll put probably next to me yeah so you allocate each and every fans next to to the name and this is great because you can actually go back and change it you know doesn't mean that um if you've got family they should all get the same uh gift or the same equal amount of gift guys so depending on what you're feeling you know like what you feel like buying the person so you allocate the amount of money that you think that person should have like when you're buying gifts and stuff like that then this would help you as well then you also go where the category where it says hotels if you're traveling you allocate funds, flights if you're flying, petrol if you're going to use petrol, you know every nitty gritty that you can think of. So this is what comprises of Christmas budget, you know. So you have to sit down, uh, probably with your partner or as a family. I don't know how you do things in your house. Then you carefully think of all the things that you probably need to cover for Christmas, including food, everything, guys. Then you categorize it and allocate funds according to how much you can actually play around with after you've looked. Uh, your know, account so that's the first thing you have to do and the second pointer guys imagine um if you're probably 20 i don't know how old you guys are 30 40 50 15 i don't know how many christmases have you gone through like if you're 20 you've gone through literally 20 christmases imagine all the house decorations that were bought before previously and stuff like that like if you could have saved all those house decorations uh you would light up this house with decorations you know after christmas usually people are full from the feasting they are tired they're lazy they're still in the holiday uh, fever so when they're taking down christmas decorations they probably just haphazardly you know remove them and in the process some are torn some are broken and you know so imagine if we were careful enough to actually carefully remove and keep them safe then uh, reuse them. So guys, if you still have um, decorations like lights, tassels, whatever, whatever, bells, jingles, <laughs> I don't know, like you could reuse decorations this year that could save you a lot of money. 
So it means in your budget you would have to cancel out um, decorations because you don't need decorations. You've already got your decorations from last year or previous years, so you could reuse decorations as a way to save money this Christmas as well. Number three, guys, this one is very, very, very important, guys. Stay away from the so-called Christmas specials, you know, the unmissable deals. Stay away from them. Most of the times, people end up just buying things they actually don't need. You know how these specials seem ridiculous and you're like, oh my god, oh my god, you know? And guess what? If you've got a budget, it means you're not going to get them because you're only strictly sticking to what you've written down in the budget, like the categories. So definitely leave out the unmissable specials, unmissable deals, unless if that thing is actually in your budget and you see it on a special, then that's good. It's like oh, more savings on your Christmas budget, guys. So stay away from those unmissable deals. Stay away from the specials. Stay, just stay away. Don't buy things just because they're cheap when you actually do not need them. That's number four, guys. Number, oh, no, that was number three, actually. Number four, this one is so fun because we did it last year with my family. Do a secret uh, Santa on a limited amount. What we did last year with my family, we, we gave each other a challenge of um, getting each other extremely ridiculous cheap gifts like 100 Rand. 100 Rand, it's close to 10 Australian dollars, which is probably 8 US dollars, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, or probably 6 pounds or, no, 6, yes, yeah, 6 pounds. Yeah. So what you do is you challenge each other that no one should spend more than 100 Rand. That's what we did. It was so much fun, guys. It's so much fun what um so much fun how sorry sorry i just got interrupted it's so much fun how people can be so creative with so much little and they bring something so meaningful so guys do challenges like that uh tell us each give each other like a limited number of uh, amount and be the secret santa it's fun it's actually more fun than uh the normal gift shopping guys so number five DIY gifts. Those are so much fun. Like I was saying, guys, you don't always have to buy something for it to have meaning. Like, be creative. Think of something that you can actually make yourself uh, with love and uh, give that person that if you're into craft, you can, I don't know, decorate a fuss, buy, a, I don't know, something, make something. Just go to an art and craft shop. I'm sure you can come up with an idea of different gifts that you can gift uh, everyone. I'm sure they'll really, really appreciate it. It's not always expensive gifts that are appreciated, guys. So, yeah, maybe this way, just stick to strictly DIY gifts, guys. Um, if uh, you're, it's your first time to my channel, please do subscribe because I'm going to do another video on uh, feels just a little bit DIY. So, stay tuned. I might give you ideas. Moving on, number six, this is very important. Do never go overboard or do not overspend when it comes to Christmas dinner, guys. Like, it's it's not necessary. Like, you'd find that um, that's the time when people actually go crazy. Like, you'd pay a bill for probably a thousand bucks for a meal for four people or five. I don't know how big your family is when it wasn't really necessary, especially when you've got kids. You know, kids, they always like to play around with their food. Imagine taking them fine dining and uh, you get a place for $300 for a kid Then they end up just picking up probably nibbling up two or three nuggets from the plate and It's not like you're going to say oh you didn't eat much. Uh, I'm gonna pay half of it You just gonna pay the whole bill. So avoid just going overboard And look for a place that is within your budget according to your budget. Remember you've allocated Different categories. So there's probably gonna be a category where it says dinner how much are you willing to spend on dinner? If it's 500, stick to a place where 500 is enough for everybody that um, in the family. So never go overboard for Christmas. Number seven, buy cheap gift. Um, you can buy cheap uh, Christmas cards. Amazon's got really, 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 trust me, this is not a sponsor. This is not sponsored. I'm not being paid. I'm just trying to help you guys. Amazon's has got really amazing, like, um, cheap cards christmas cards and uh the other idea you can actually make them yourself like diy and stuff what i've realized is christmas cards 
Yes, we want to receive Christmas cards. Yes, it's very thoughtful, it's meaningful, it's nice to receive a Christmas card. But just a few days after Christmas, where is that card? Like, you don't even know where the card is. So it absolutely does not make sense going to buy a $13 card that's probably going to be tossed in the bin in the next four days. Not like they're going to do it on purpose. Like, you can just get word, you can just get somewhere in the house, lost somewhere in the house. So there's absolutely no need of buying extremely um, expensive gift, um, Christmas cards, guys. You can just do DIYs. They're, they're interesting as well. Like it gives you more time to spend with the family and bond with the family whilst you're making um, Christmas cards for other people, which is very nice and thoughtful. And uh, for some of us like me, I've got my family all over the world, so I could stick to the digital cards, which are free because you just look for an app that you develop and design your own digital cards, then you send them, which is also nice. So. That could be a way to save rather than me getting a postcard and post it all over the world. Da, 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 da. Anyway, guys, moving on. Number eight. I don't know. The, you have you heard of loyal points? I feel like you should let loyal points accumulate throughout the whole year. Then get to use them when you're doing your Christmas shopping, like for groceries or whatever supermarket schemes, uh, savings schemes in your country. I don't know what what they have. They always have these savings schemes like. Uh, E bucks, I don't know, like B points, whatever, depending on the country that you are. Save these points so that they'll help you when you're doing your Christmas shopping. And some even you can use them for petrol, like gas. So save them up so that they'll help you when you're doing your Christmas shopping. And you save a couple of bucks actually. Number nine, effectively pick for Christmas. This is when you've got you're planning to travel. Are you traveling this Christmas? If you are. I don't know what kind of holiday that you're going to, depending on what you're going to, like make sure you actually plan for the packing, uh, write down what things you're going to do. If you're going to be swimming, write down or swimsuits, bathing suits, if you're going to snow, uh, snow boots, if you're going to a cold place, jackets, hats, gloves, whatever that you need for that particular holiday. Why am I saying effectively pack is, um, how many times have we tend to forget something very important and we're like, oh, I left my toothbrush. Oh, I left this. Then you're ending up uh, buying things that you already have at home, which is unnecessary when you could have just brought them along and um, enjoy your holiday without spending anything because you've got everything that you need for the holiday. So please effectively pack. I would suggest uh, probably start now the packing of, uh, for your travels so that you make sure that you've got everything that you need and you haven't forgotten anything, guys. Number 10, budget early for your next Christmas, guys. This is very, very important. How do, how do you budget for, for, for Christmas that's coming? You're like, this is like, what, 12, 12 more months, guys. So what you do, depending with your bank or if you really don't really, if you're not much trusting banks and stuff, you could just do it at home, you know, like in a safe, I don't know. What you do is create a sinking fund, guys. A sinking fund, basically what it is, it's... Um, setting aside funds for possible future capital expense so for this time if i'm saying it's for christmas our capital expense is that christmas for 2021 so depending on how much you earn how much your salary if you've got any incoming incomes like extra incomes coming in what you do is after you've done your normal budget like your normal day-to-day -day budget how much do you have extra on the side after you've done all your expenses miscellaneous if you go out for the weekends with your family all that money petrol air time like your phone bill everything after you've done that how much money are you left with then you can actually say okay you know what i'm gonna spend i'm gonna put um 200 on the side without straining me never forget that you also have emergencies so you should also put like an emergency fund so don't put all of it towards uh christmas guys we don't want the young ones. You know, sometimes you can get sick and the medical cover, medical aid doesn't cover it. So you would need an, after you've finished the emergency fund, then allocate 200 or whatever amount that you're comfortable with to your sinking fund. And it accumulates, let it accumulate. And next year, December, you'll be shocked how much you have actually. You'll probably, probably are sorted for Christmas without um, stretching your pocket further. And that way you can actually do enjoy with no stress because remember there's life after Christmas, 
there's gonna be probably school fees if you've got kids that are going to school you probably need uniforms probably gonna new bills because you still have to pay rent if you're renting you still have to pay your mortgage if you're a mortgage you still have to pay your car if it's on credit you still have to pay your phone bills so never forget everything just don't overstretch for something that's gonna last for a day then two three days afterwards you're regretting and you're in trouble and you're dead guys i hope this can help someone and uh comment down below i'd love to know more things that can be done to help others um save this christmas so that we get to enjoy christmas and be merry and have a happy new year with no stress guys thank you i love you and don't forget to subscribe all right guys um as usual my little partner here has got something to tell you guys so please listen carefully and please do what he says what do you have to say to them look at them and tell them Say it louder. Subscribe to his channel. Please subscribe to his channel, guys. Please do subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell as well. We love you. Boom.